I saw the sign, it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign, life is demanding without understanding. Oh, don't you love it how when I get to the terrible part of my singing, I stop? <laughs> okay. Today we're talking about the signs and symptoms that you might have too much sugar going on in your body. And this video is actually at the request of Andy. He thought it would be a good one based on a story that happened with us. Because um, when he came to work after the week, one weekend, I asked him how he was feeling. And I asked how he was going with sugar. And he said, actually, I, I had a crap weekend. And he was feeling crappy for it. And the reason I asked him is because he had these dark circles under his eyes. And that's one of the number one things I, I ask people when they actually have the dark circles under the eyes is how are you going with sugar, OK? One of the things that that can be a sign of is obviously sugar addiction, which creates iron deficiency. And it's a great way of your body starting to communicate to you. Because one of the things that sugar does to our bodies, it strips nutrients from our body. And iron's a big one. OK, so what are some other signs and symptoms that you might have too much sugar in your body? OK, so beyond dark circles, you can be getting these sugar hangovers where you don't have any alcohol, but you wake up in the morning and you don't feel well rested. Having too much sugar in your body means that you're not going to sleep well. And if your body's flooded with too much sugar, you're not going to be able to have your body doing the proper appropriation and elimination cycle, which makes us wake up with a spring in our step. Another sign is that you have a gray complexion. So when you're eating lots of foods that are living foods and have nutrients in it, your skin and your, your face actually lights up. There's a radiance to you. And that's one of the things we notice the most with people who've been through the Sweet Freedom program and they've done the 30-day challenge and they've gone without sugar for 30 days, is there is a life force and color that comes back into their skin. And it's really noticeable. Another sign is acne, or as Andy calls them, spots. OK, so that acne on your face can definitely be sugar related. I know for years, people, um, doctors and magazine articles um, would say that sugar is not related to acne. Totally is. I'm thinking a lot of that other stuff might have been sponsored by the sugar industry. Um, but it definitely is related. And we notice with most people giving up sugar is that that piece of acne just goes away. Lethargy, so being tired, being slow, feeling slow is definitely a sign that you have too much sugar in your body. Sugar will slow you down because it's going to just strip the nutrients. You're going to have those lows that come from sugar. You're also going to have mood swings, okay? So the up and down, the highs and lows, the high when you have the sugar and the crash when you don't have it. And even when sugar isn't actually in your body, if you've had a sugar binge, it will then create just the sense of low kind of dullness in your life. And in most cases, sugar is one of the major contributors to depression. If you know anyone who has depression in their life, get them off of sugar because it makes a big difference. This is really interesting because Sugar is so kind of insidious. You'll have it one day, and then you'll wake up the next morning often feeling depressed. But you won't necessarily connect it with the sugar. You're like thinking to yourself, life is just, you kind of got this dull, like life doesn't feel good, and you have no real reason to actually feel bad, and yet you're depressed. In that instance, I would honestly say the best thing you can do is to give up sugar. OK, because it's a big sign. It's one of the biggies, that like massive biggie biggies. OK, <laughs> sugar belly, so that roll around the middle. And a lot of people who don't have a sweet tooth will say that they don't have a problem with sugar. But when you've got the sugar belly, it's a sign that you have not just you're not working off enough energy, but it can be a sign that you have things converting into sugar. So the refined flours, you know, excess of grains and refined or starchy carbohydrates that convert into sugars. And that creates the sugar belly. And it can create just as many problems in the body. Headaches. Sugar can definitely impact your brain and can create headaches. So it's not just dehydration, although that's a really good thing to check right away. But taking the sugar out for most people who've gone through the Sweet Freedom program or clients that I've worked with for over 20 years, Getting the sugar out means and equals no more headaches. 
So sugar causes massive inflammation in the body, so joint pain can be another sign that you have too much sugar in your body. And most people who get off of sugar report that their joint pain goes away, or if they have arthritis, it's greatly diminished by taking the sugar out. So there's two things that are kind of connected um, that can be a sign that you have too much sugar. Mood swings, so kind of the up and down, the extreme joy and the low, that can come with the sugar in your body um, hitting. It can also impact energy crashes. And it's not just the afternoon break after lunch that has you kind of you know, in that low and you're seeking for something from the vending machine or something sweet or something like a cup of coffee to bring your energy back up. That's definitely a sign of having too much sugar in your body, but that can happen any time of the day if you have a serious kind of sugar hit. You, it's going to um, follow that at some point you're going to crash. Probably the number one sign that you have a sugar addiction is you can't stop thinking about your next hit, when you're going to have sugar, or um, just planning your day around your sugar hits. This is by no means an exhaustive list. It's just some of the things for you to look out for to show that you're addicted to sugar. As always, it's really important for you to be the scientist of your own body. So try it out for yourself, you know? Go without sugar for seven days, or if you can't think about giving it up at all, consider our eat less seven day eat less sugar challenge. There's an old adage that says, if you listen to your body when it whispers, you don't have to listen to it when it screams. With sugar addiction, it's only a matter of time before it starts screaming at you. So don't take my word for it. Try it out. Try going without sugar and seeing that the best way to find out if you're addicted to sugar is to try and give it up. You'll know that if it feels impossible, you've definitely got an issue that's, that's worth looking at. And I promise you that even seven days will give you a, a, a view into a window of how incredibly beautiful your life can look and even better than it already is, or if it sucks, <laughs> it can give you absolute hope that getting off of sugar really is a key to you stepping into your sweet freedom. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and like it, subscribe to the channel and share it with people you care about that can benefit from this, and join our incredibly supportive Facebook group. And lastly, if you're looking to get sugar-free naturally, follow the links below and find out more about the Sweet Freedom Online program.